so in this class we will learn about linked list and in particular about inserting a node at the beginning of a linked list so here we can see a linked list it has four nodes presently and we want to see how we have to add a node in the linked list so first we will consider the memory of the computer as a kind of table where it has each memory cell has an address and it stores some data okay so this is the memory so now we will see each node so each node is basically a cell in the memory it has some address and it stores some data so let's see so this is a node so this is a particular node so it has two part so first one as you know in the linked list so it's a data and the second one is the address of the next node so we see here that 5 is stored in the first node and the 5 the memory location of 5 is 0x3 okay so in the hexadecimal number now it also stores the address of the next memory location so that is so 5 now stores the memory location of next node which is node 2 and node 2 has a data part which is 2 and its memory location is 5 so 5 is now stored in the next address of node 1 similarly you can see that in node 2 the data is 2 and it also stores the memory location of third node which has data 3 and which has memory location 0x7 next we come to node 3 so it's stored in memory number 0x7 and its next address is of node 4 and node 4 is stored in memory location 2 so we see the full structure and in fact to traverse the linked list you also need the first memory location okay so where is my linked list starting so that is stored in a pointer which is called head so head stores so head initially tells us that okay head i know that okay it is 0x3 so i will directly know that okay i have to go to memory location 3 where i will find the data and i will also find the next address of the next memory location that is of the second node next what happens is so we want to write a function insert at first okay so int key so we pass to it the what key we want to insert in the beginning so i write struct node start temp is equal to null so i want to make now a new memory okay so i want to make a new node so that node again has it has a data part so i will put the key here and it also needs to have the memory location of the next node okay so what we need to do is let's see in the pictorial representation first with the code so first i will make a node i will allocate memory to it using malloc so malloc requires the size of the memory location so size so for that we use size of struct node so that is the amount of memory location i need and then struct node start that is type casting it to our memory location type so that is done so i have now got one memory location and then what happens is so we till now we request from the operating system some memory and then what we do so we get something like this which has a data part and the next node part address of the next node then what we do is that we now i know that what is the data to be stored there so i store the data which is the key so if we have insert at first let's say seven i call with seven so what will happen is i will call let's say insert at first and i call with 15 let's say 15 
so data will be given is 15 if we see from the code here and then it checks okay so if the head is null that means if i don't have really a link list for now then it just do, does what it makes head is equal to temp that is to our node okay so this is the head and then it makes head is equal to temp that was the node address we had and then temp next becomes equal to null so if the head is empty null or which means that the link list is now empty then we just get our first node here and we make the head point to that one okay so if it's somehow let's say that the computer or the operating system allocated as a temp which has memory location let's say 0x we will see which is the free one so 0x4 let's say it gave us so this is stored here in this one we store the key so insert at first we had 15 so 15 will be stored here and its next is now made as null because now I have just one element and the temp next is made null. So this will be the type if the head was null that means the linked list was empty. But if the linked list is not empty. So what we have to do. So we will have the linked list something like this where we have some elements one or more than one elements already. So in that case what will happen is now what we need to do is now head was 0x3 so now instead of that i want to make it here so this was the allocated memory 0x4 so i want to now make head point to this one not the first node in the linked list now so this should be made so this should be cut and this should be our new first node but then we have to correct some of the connections so what happens now so this is our new node so i will make head so head was 0x3 so now i will make head is equal to temp okay so this means so that is what is happening here so first i will make temp next is equal to head so what will happen let's see so this before establishing this connection what we do is i make temp this was temp so temp was having the memory location 0x4 and i will make temp next point to the first node okay where the header is pointing so it will point like this so i will make temp next equal to head and what is the value of head now so temp next is so head and head is now 0x3 so now here it will be stored 0x3 so it will point to the temp next will point to head but now i want to point head to our new temp okay so what we will do we will remove this connection now and point this like this so it will be head is equal to temp means head is now 0x4 so this way a new connection established now we have head pointing to 0x4 and head next that is temp next is pointing to 0x3 our previous first node okay so this way we can add node at the first beginning or the first position okay so the code is very simple as we can see so what we do we say insert at first int key and then struct node start temp so what we do we first allocate the memory so that is you have to do when you make a new node first thing is we allocate request memory from the operating system which is equal to the size of the struct node and it is typecasted also to that type we also assign data but after that there are two cases the linked list might be empty in which case this is the only node so we just make head equal to temp and temp next as null but otherwise what we do first we make temp next equal to head so that it points to our head and still we have head equal to the previous first node now we make head is equal to temp so now this points to the new first node okay so this is about append inserting at the beginning of a linked list okay i hope you understand this thanks a lot